In this one, we're returning to the southern mid-latitudes of Mars and a site just to the north of Newcomb. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this photograph called Intra Crater Patches of Contrasting Thermal Inertia, which IRIS acquired on the 15th of October 2007 at a very high resolution of 24.9 centimeters per pixel. The anomalies I'll be showing you were cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a look at the terrain and the anomalies that we found are scattered throughout this area of the photograph. The site is located in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars and the coordinates are 42.42 degrees south, 29.30 degrees east. And it's in this area here, yeah, just to the north of Newcomb. And towards the end of the video, we'll have a look at some of the other anomalies in the surrounding terrain. So the first anomaly right there, folks, we've got this rectangular object it's got a strange narrow piece on the top running diagonally across it and we've got four smaller blocks arranged in a semicircular pattern around it. The larger object over there is about six meters in length and uh, we've got that strange uh, like a cylinder on top of this larger piece. Check that out. It's definitely got this rounded shape to it. And then oddly, it's got these four smaller blocks arranged around it in a semicircular pattern. Got straight edges there and right angles. Wonder what that could be. Yeah, we're looking at uh, that square structure and that piece over there which looks like wreckage. This uh, block is about 10 by 10 meters in size. And again, we've got right angles there, folks. Check at this, uh, like, arch over here, that rounded shape. And then uh, parallel to this side, we've got these two smaller triangular objects. That there looks like a piece of metal plate that's been bent up over there. Again, what the heck could this be? Some type of uh, ventilation, outpost, entranceway, hatch, or just swamp gas. Yeah, we're checking out these anomalies and uh, specifically this rectangular part over there, which is about 6 by 10 meters in size. It's got this straight edge to it, parallel to it, but this smaller rectangular part there and on top of it various uh, smaller like spherical or dome like objects as well also raised above the surface on the right hand side something seems to be sticking out of uh, what could be an opening over here folks yeah we're looking at uh, that massive blocky structure over there and some weird wreckage next to it. The block is about 10 by 12 meters in size. Check at the straight edges again, right angles. Very eroded or damaged, whatever that was. It's got the circular feature on the top and in its center, that smaller dome over there. And then this is fascinating out to the left. We've got a base structure, rectangular in shape underneath that straight edge over here, and then this part lying on top of it. Look at the uh, strange shape. And it's got a hole right there. Looks like some type of uh, technology. Wreckage, some type of machine, who knows. Yeah, we're looking at that block, which is about 8 by 10 meters in size, and it's got uh, 
two smaller parts on the top and uh, it looks like a triangular conical feature there in the center it looks almost like a, a face with two eyes and the nose not that that is a face folks but uh, very interesting eh? right then we're looking at uh, this structure over there maybe even wreckage and that piece is about 10 by 12 meters in size We've got the rectangular shape to it this piece over here in the center sort of bent down towards the surface and then uh, these three smaller parts on top with equal spacing between them two dark spots there on either side of uh, that part it seems to be bent down and underneath looks like another piece of uh, metallic plate Look at the way it's bent up over here and there's another odd piece to the right uh, some type of wreckage maybe even a hatch I don't know yeah we're looking at uh, these anomalies over here and uh, there's a block folks check that out about uh, 6 by 10 meters in size to flat smooth surfaces to it there's a rounded shape on the one side straight edges and a right angle and on top of it that conical feature and on either side those two dark spots seen many of those folks we're looking at uh, this area here and uh, this block is about 14 meters long on top of it we've got smaller parts arranged in uh, some type of symmetrical pattern check out that geometry two similar parts there triangle over here there's another block just to the bottom right in its center it's got that dome like part there and then more wreckage over here to the right get that uh, little sphere or ball lying inside uh, that opening there and that would be about uh, a meter in diameter and we're looking at uh, this part of the photograph and this part it's got this round shape to it and in the center we've got a hole and that there's about uh, four meters across another piece of wreckage perhaps who knows that piece is about 10 meters across check at this jagged edge and then these two similar parts on the side parallel to one another and then two smaller ones here also parallel to one another parallel to this larger edge over there venting system who knows yeah, we're looking at this massive block it's about 15 meters long and it's got this oval hole drilled into it over there in its center so it's a very jagged edge very eroded or blasted to bits right there's another block that one there is about uh, 6 meters long and it's got straight edges and right angles again so we've got a combination of circular and rectangular objects in this photograph yeah we're looking at those two rectangular objects over there the larger one is about 12 meters long and uh, it's got this very straight edge to it that one over there as well so open on the right hand side 
Are we looking at uh, some type of the ventilation system or hatch? There's a strange uh, part lying on top of it over there to the left. Like this circular design to it. But like a flange coming off on the one side. A hole in its center and this seems to be a triangular opening as well. I don't know. We're looking at uh, some type of tech over there. Right, yeah, we're looking at uh, the alignment of those smaller objects over there and this object over here to the left. And this uh, little triangle on top is about uh, 2 by 2 meters in size. Now we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 five of those uh, smaller objects over there in a perfect line and look at the spacing between them also this looks like some type of uh, bent up metal plate look at this Right, then uh, we've got a semi-circular object over there about 14 meters long and uh, on top of it a little dome and smaller parts arranged in a circular pattern around uh, the edge. Also it looks like it's been bent in. Here we're looking at uh, these objects and uh, this piece over there is about 8 meters across. We've got uh, like a rectangular part at the bottom and this piece on top running through the diagonal and uh, we've got two smaller openings over here. possibly more wreckage over here to the right and that piece is about 10 meters across two straight edges there right angle and uh, these two parts sticking out of the one side at the gap between these Another disc-like object over there it looks like a massive hatch. That piece is about 12 meters across. And a close-up reveals this uh, perfectly rounded side over here. It's uh, like a convex design as well. I wonder if this is uh, a partially opened hatch. Another rectangular object over there with the triangle on top of it and that piece there is about 6 by 8 meters in size and again on top a little conical or triangular part. Check it that it's parallel to this one side, 90 degree angle over there. Here we've got another disc and uh, on top of it it looks like it's got like a little hatch and that disc is about six meters across. Get that round shape to it and then over here on top it looks like a little hatch that's been opened. Check that out. Right folks, so let's check out these anomalies and some others in uh, that region of Mars just to the north of uh, Newcomb. Check out all the other artifacts around here. So uh, that's the JP2 we took a look at and uh, there's the anomalies we checked out in this video just for a quick reference. Now let's quickly have a look at some of the other anomalies around here. This is in Hunton 
where you got these uh, strange smaller disc like objects that one there is about five to six meters across that's strange uh, looks like a carving of a scarab beetle lots of wreckage and debris and blocks check out this one this is one of those that uh, I'm listing as an example there's two discs pointing in the same direction and there we've got two identical objects pointing in the same direction as well and let's go down to uh, Proctor it's just uh, to the south of uh, Newcomb a row of anomalies over there looks like uh, some type of dish lots of circular objects over there almost the same size a strange uh, multiple part object with a bridging part in the center very similar to the object that uh, was shown in ancient aliens from Naptiplier, Egypt another disc little dome on it another block like a triangular object on top also there it looks like this dome like hatch on top of that larger piece lots of other blocks similar to those we took a look at in this JP2 check out that piece looks like a partial hexagonal piece sticking out there another disc with a dome on top Look at that uh, cube on the top of that strange piece. And again there we've got like a triangle on top of that block. And one side is always parallel to one of the other sides. More smaller parts on top of uh, larger pieces. Check that out. These two smaller parts are pointing in the same direction and that carved out piece there is very similar to one of those blocks we just checked out as well that strange uh, plectrum shaped piece of the eye and these have always got like protrusions or knobs on them there's a disc with a diamond it's sticking out of that circular object and uh, directly in line with that, that smaller part so look at this a rather strange piece it looks like a little craft with a dome on it and uh, we found lots of these slabs or blocks of that type of design Looks like a hole in the middle of that disc over there. There are two more of those. Got three parts, two larger parts with a bridging part in the center. And there's that item from Naptiplier, Egypt. So two larger parts, a small bridging part in the center looks like a fossilized shell more huge blocks Get that out we've got a brown pattern over there so this uh, like rectangular shape with a little triangle going off on one direction we've seen many of those too Right, let's have a look at uh, one more site. 
way down in the south. There's the strange Quimbaya jet shaped object over there and uh, various pieces of uh, metallic wreckage. That's what it looks like. Maybe one more. Let's check out this. Yeah. Strange uh, goings on on Mars. That's it for this one, folks. Ancient ruins north of Newcomb on Mars. Do let me know what you make of these in the comments below. Much appreciated. I read everyone's commentary and uh, we can start a nice chat right there. And then uh, to my new subscribers, thank you for joining the channel. Welcome on board. I hope you enjoy my work and research. Do let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, hitting the notifications bell. In that way, you'll know when I upload my next video. Until I see you guys again, take care and be safe. See you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.